Hi, and welcome to Lexis Advanced Quick Law for Legal Assistants and Para Professionals. This tutorial is designed to get you up and running on Lexis Advanced Quick Law and perform common tasks such as locating a case using the citation, accessing a note up record, delivering documents, finding legislation, and noting up. To get started, navigate to lexisadvancequicklaw.com and at the sign in screen, enter your ID and password. You can use the Remember Me button if you would like your computer to remember your credentials for next time. And if you're not sure what your ID or password is or you've forgotten, you can use Forgot Your ID or Password to reset these. I'm going to click Sign In and give you a brief tour of the interface. At the top, we have our black navigation bar. This offers me access to different products, the homepage, the browse functionality, an English and French language toggle, client, which is where you can enter matter numbers and client IDs, a history feature, which I will go into towards the end, and the more button under which you will find access to personalizations such as folders, alerts, notifications, and settings. On the main screen, we have our big red search box, and below that, these various colorful boxes are known as research pods, and they can be a helpful way to get into different kinds of content, either organized by type, such as Halsbury's Laws of Canada, legislation or cases, or by practice area, such as civil litigation, family law, and employment law. You'll also find on this homepage other research pods, including the favorites option, folders, the lawyers daily, alerts, history, support, and updates. Let's get started with a quick citation search. If you have the citation of a case and you need to find that case, you can simply enter your citation into the red search box and either press return, enter, or click on the magnifying glass. This will take me directly to the case document and I'll outline a few features that you'll find on this page. At the top of the page, you will see a copy citation button, which allows you to quickly copy the citations for this case. You can copy this as a hyperlink, which will take somebody to the case in Lexis Advanced Quick Law, and you can include or exclude all of the parallel citations. At the top of the document, you'll find options for delivery. You can print using the print option here. Be sure to double check the formatting options if this is the first time that you have conducted this action, as there may be settings which you wish to adjust. You can email this document using the envelope icon and you can download it in a PDF format, a Word document format, and two other kinds of document. If you are downloading multiple files from a results list, you can either save these as individual files and they will be compressed in a .zip format, or you can group and save the documents as a single file. Again, the formatting options will apply here. The final option for delivery is to save to a folder in Lexis Advanced Quick Law. If to get started with folders, simply click on the folders button and click choose a folder. You can see some examples that I have already created, but if you need to create a folder, select choose a folder, create new folder, and then enter in the name of your folder, hit create and save to save the document to this folder. Scrolling down the case, I'll point out a couple of features. We have our case summary, which will first give you keywords, key terms and phrases that apply to the case, a summary of the case, and then finally, the case report itself, including the statutes, regulations, and rules cited, the cases cited, the council, and so on. On the right-hand side, under About This Document, you'll note that you can access a French version of the case, the history of this case, the citing cases, any commentary that's referred to this case, and any alternative case summaries, which will talk about this case with respect to specific areas or topics of the law. 
To go quickly up to the top of the page, I can click on this arrow and that will take me back to the top. Clicking on the logo will take me back to the home page. Another interesting feature of Lexis Advanced Quick Law is the ability to pull multiple cases at once using multiple citations. To do this, simply enter your citations separated by semicolons. Again, hit enter or the magnifying glass and Lexis Advanced Quick Law will present to you all of the cases for the citations that you entered in one results list. On this page, you can see R and Cody is a case that I have saved to a folder and also that I have viewed recently as indicated by the eyeglasses icon. Again, I have delivery options at the top of the screen. If I have nothing selected on this page and I use download, email, print or folder, this will deliver the list of documents. If I select one or more documents, and then use download, email, print, or add to folder, that will save, print, download, or email uh, the individual documents. And again, you have the option to deliver those as a single file or to save them um, into multiple files in a zip format. Keyword searching is another option that you can utilize in Lexis Advanced Quick Law. To get started with keyword searching, you can simply enter the terms or phrases that you're interested in finding into the red search box. A word wheel will give you suggestions for legal phrases that you may choose to add to your search. And you'll see on the right hand side, search everything is indicated in the gray box, indicating that I'll get results from all provinces and all types of documents. If you would like to refine your search to a particular province, you can click on search everything and then select your jurisdictions and optionally your level of courts to refine your results down beforehand. On my results screen, the number of results will be indicated at the top and the terms that I've entered will be highlighted at the top here. They may be shown in different colors if there is more than one phrase identified or more than one unique term. And you'll see a snippet from the document in this view and our search term maps feature, which allows you to navigate through the document according to where your word or phrase results are located in that document. On the left hand side you'll find a narrow by panel which allows you to further refine your results set by options including content type, jurisdiction, court, timeline, citator treatment and legal topics. You can also enter an additional search term into the search within results box to find cases that also include that term. If you are looking for other kinds of material, including secondary materials, textbooks, encyclopedia results, and so on, on the left-hand side, you'll see that you can access that material by simply choosing the appropriate category. Finally, I'll point out our quick sight symbols. These are symbols that are appended to the left of each case title, and they mean something about how that case has been treated in other courts. This green symbol indicates that this case has positive treatments and it's unlikely that this case has been overruled or distinguished. Scrolling down, we'll see an example of a case that has been distinguished with this orange triangle with a white exclamation mark in. This purple symbol indicates neutral treatment. This means that the case has been cited but has not received treatment which goes in any particular direction, be it negative, cautionary, or positive. We don't have a negative symbol on this page. Ah, we do have a negative symbol on this page, and you can see here it is this red stop sign with a white X through it. So you have negative, red, positive, green, neutral, the purple icon, and orange for a distinguishing treatment.
And this may guide you as to whether a particular result when you're keyword searching will be useful in your research and in your case going forward. On the right hand side, you'll also see an indication of how many citing cases there are for each document. So this first result has 10 citing cases. And I can note this up using QuickSight, which we will look at in a few moments. You can also change the sort order of your results by clicking on relevance and changing to sort by jurisdiction, by court, by date, by citation frequency, and other orders. Thanks for watching this introductory video on Lexis Advanced Quick Law for legal assistants and paraprofessionals. Please be sure to email training at lexisnexis.ca if you would like to set up an individual training session tailored to you and your colleagues. Please also check out the second video in this series which will cover legislation, quick sight, searching by judge or counsel and quantum tools. Thanks very much and have a wonderful day.